Greetings everybody. We are back for our third installment in this uh, series, More Proofs in Young's Geometry, and this one should be quicker than the others. A uh, quick recap of the axioms. Axiom 1 says that there exists a line in the geometry. Axiom 2 says that each line contains exactly three points. Axiom 3 says that no single line contains all of the points. Axiom 4 says that between any two distinct points there is, exists exactly one line. And Axiom 5 says that given a line and a point not on that line, there exists exactly one line that contains that point that does not intersect with the given line. Proposition 1 says that given a point in the geometry, there exists a line that does not uh, contain that point. Uh, proposition 2 says that given a point in the geometry, there are at least four lines that contain that point. Axiom or Proposition 3 goes a step further and says that given a point in the geometry, there are exactly four lines. Uh, and Axiom 4 says that uh, each line, for each line there are exactly two lines that are parallel to it. And we are going to add to our collection, Proposition 5, which says that the number of lines equals 12. Okay, in Young's Geometry there are exactly 12 lines. Now the um, the big idea here is really just an, uh, an accounting of what's going on. Suppose we have a line L. Uh, we know that there are three points on that line L, and each of those three points has exactly four lines uh, passing through them, one of which is L. So each of those gives us three lines that are not L, that intersect with L. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And these are the only lines that uh, intersect with L. And of course there are, from the previous proposition, two lines that do not intersect with L, 11 and 12. Okay, so if all of our lines either intersect with L or do not intersect with L, or are L, uh, then there can only be 12 such lines. Proof. Let L be the, a line in the geometry. Every other line in the geometry must either be must either intersect with L or not intersect with L. Now, uh, by Proposition 3, each point on L uh, is on exactly three lines that are not L. So we have three lines for the first point, three lines for the second point, three lines for the third point. These nine lines must be distinct, else there would be a line other than L that contains two of the points from L. That's a contradiction that, that violates axiom four. Okay. By Proposition 4,
there are exactly two lines that do not intersect L. Therefore, we have 12 lines L, the two line, the nine lines that intersect L, and the two lines that do not intersect L. And we win.